Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm happy to see you all back in my new video and I hope you're all healthy. Before starting with the video, I have to make a request to all of you. The whole event is a very special occasion. The store I'm going to visit has a very limited amount of watches and is struggling to already deliver enough watches to their current VIP customers. So please don't get the feeling by this video it would be easy to get such a Rolex watch and the dealer could supply more. This is definitely not the case. I am sorry to tell you this guys, but I have to do it so we can all enjoy this video. Guys, what shall I say besides that all of this still feels like a dream to me? Okay, let me start from the beginning. This video will be a very special one for the YouTube channel as you will follow me on my journey to grab my holy grail watch. The best Rolex watch I could imagine owning. You will get a feeling for the full buying experience, how much fun I had over the whole time and how much this community and channel already means for me. We all know how hard it is to find a steel sports model and how much frustration I got during all my Rolex AD visits and your feedback to that was just overwhelming. 250 likes and nearly 100 comments told me I should go for it, I should try it and so I did. I reached out to all shops around me, I called more than 100 shops around the world and I think I got more brush offs than ever before in my life. Still, on the whole way, this community was supporting and motivating me more than anything else. You sent me emails with contacts, you told me your stories and gave me ideas what to try and you told me always not to give up on my dream. In the end guys, my YouTube channel helped a lot to achieve this goal as my videos were watched by thousands of people around the world and one Rolex store contacted me and said they would be willing to support this special event and sell me a GMT Master 2 Pepsi. I guess they saw the massive amount of effort I put into the search, my buying history with Rolex in general as this will be my sixth Rolex watch and overall that we could build a long-term relationship with many watches to follow. In addition, they had the insurance that I am not going to flip the watch, as the cost for the flights, hotel and free PCR test would make such a deal very unattractive. And also, again, in addition, they saw all my YouTube videos, they saw my watch collections and I think this is a genuine proof that I am not a watch flipper. The store called me at nighttime Dubai, it was around 2 am in the morning and told me the next watch one of the sales employees would get in is reserved for me. Guys, this call felt unreal for me. I was basically jumping around in my apartment and couldn't speak properly anymore. After all the experiences I had with my local authorized dealers, all the shared stories and rumors I read in the internet. It was hard to believe that this is really happening for me and I could finally go and grab my watch. I have to note here, this is just one of the sales employees who would do me this favor and this is definitely not the norm. The store won't be able to supply more watches to people who contact them as they have a customer base and are already struggling to deliver enough to their current clients. So they clearly told me they have no more other watches, it's impossible, don't try it to get anything from them. Many of you also asked me if it would be worth all the hassle 
and why I don't buy the watch on the grey market. I will always stay true to my opinion. I don't want to support people who grab every watch they can just to make a profit and by that make life hard for us watch collectors. I am not against someone selling his watch after some time to make a profit or against second hand dealers who basically do that all the time. All of that has its purpose of course, but people who make it their main business just to grasp the market for hot watches from the ADs and to milk the collectors are doing a business in my view on the cost of others. Last but not least, I wanted to have this achievement to get my holy grail watch direct from a genuine Rolex store, pick it up over there in person and get the date of the pickup on my warranty card. And while others may just pick it up on the grey market and pay the premium, I decided to climb this massive mountain, go further than ever before, because in the end the watch f will feel a million times better than every other piece I collected due to that. So lean back guys, grab a coffee and enjoy the journey as now we are going to fly to the United States of America to grab my dream watch. On your way to your dream watch and especially if it is a very rare and hard to get watch you will face a lot of barriers, temptations and disappointments. You will face dealers or other watch collectors who will tell you right into your face you will not get that watch. Forget it, you won't have a chance, you will face grey market dealers telling you save yourself the hassle, buy it right away and give up on searching for it. And I can tell you in all honesty, I was several times close to the point of giving up. You will hear voices all around yourself telling you, you can't, and maybe one of them is yourself in the end. But remember how far you got already and that you are not a quitter. If you really want something, you must do everything that is possible for you to achieve it. So let me give you this advice. Try to find a dealer who is looking to build a relationship with a circle of clients and try to see if there could be an open seat for you to take. As it is a cycle with people joining and leaving the hobby, people getting other priorities or maybe people losing their relationship with the AD, there are still chances and not all the seats are always occupied. As the watches are limited in availability, so are the clients one dealer can support with those pieces. You have to make the dealer aware that you are a genuine buyer, that this is your passion and you are looking for a long-term relationship over your watch collecting journey. Before going to the AD, let's have a last drink to calm down a little bit and enjoy the great Mexican cuisine. I must admit I absolutely love those margaritas and tacos.
We are now inside a separate room at the Rolex store. The first two watches he shows us, the Rolex GMT Master 2 Pepsi and the new Rolex Submariner Kermit or Starbucks or however you want to call it. Both completely sealed in the travel cases and as new as they can be from the factory. We are completely flashed at this point. Just seeing both watches at an AD feels unreal. Let's unbox the Kermit together. A beautiful watch. Unfortunately, it is reserved for one of their VIP clients already, but I will definitely try to get a Kermit as well in the future. Let's unbox the Pepsi. First time for me opening such a box. <laughs> yeah, we can. If you want, let's, let's go first. And here it is, guys. A brand new Pepsi, fresh from the factory. My dream watch. Let's take a minute and enjoy this beautiful piece, guys. Yeah. Ah, this is fixed. <laughs> oh my god, wow. It's, it's, it's also so cool, you know, there's a brand fresh new one no one had in his hands before, like, wow. And, oh, completely sick, I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and a new Oyster Perpetual in 41 millimeters with the red coral dial and the new bluesy. Just wow. Look at that dial. What a stunner, guys. What a beauty. Till now, I never thought I would like the bluesy so much, but the dial and the bezel looks fantastic. Actually, the AD gave me a call before our trip and we discussed the watches I want to buy. I had a long list for him, also besides the Pepsi, of watches that I wanted to buy. And the AD also knew that one of my mates would join. He told me I could buy one more watch in addition or that I can turn down the offer he made to me and let my friend buy that watch. So guess what guys, even though I would have loved to buy more watches, I thought I give the chance to my mate as he is joining the full trip, he bought two business class tickets for two 17 hours flights. He joined to do all the testing we had to do, the PCR tests in the States and overall he accompanied me all the time. So this is also something very special he is doing for me and by that I have to tell you guys unfortunately I can't support anyone to get his dream watch. This is a journey unfortunately it seems you have to take on your own. And a new black date sub on my wrist. For the first time in my life I received a Rolex giveaway, a green cap. Time to resize the bracelet. It was by far the best Rolex buying experience I ever had after I made already 5 purchases over the years with Rolex. Paying the Submariner and telling the other guys about my YouTube channel. Yes. Setting the time. The Submariner is sized as well. And two happy new Rolex owners.
a last check of the window watches and another Yardmaster, I think this time in 37mm and the Yardmaster on Oyster Flex with full diamond style. What a banger guys, wow. And at this time it was close to 6pm already, so the store was also about to close. We spent nearly 3 hours inside, just, just imagine this guys. Compared to the 15 minutes it usually takes me to buy Rolex wherever in the world. Just, just crazy man, 3 hours and yeah, I had so much fun, it's, it's still like a dream for me. A cheers on the best buying experience ever and I'm so happy about this day, incredible. If you have to write down how you imagine the perfect Rolex buying experience, this is it guys.